What's going on guys? Tyler back with another video. Now I got something to show, but not really show, more or less talk about today. Um, it's RC servos. And what's going on inside these little guys? I get asked all the time, Tyler, my servo's not working. The gears are stripped. And I'm just like, well then take it apart and see what's going on in there. Oh, I don't know how to do that. What's inside that thing? Um... Not really much going on in these things, guys. You don't have to be scared. It's just a little motor with a bunch of little gears in it. They're easy to fix. So all I'm going to do is pull it apart for you guys today, just so you can see what's going on inside here. Nothing is actually wrong with this servo. It works perfectly fine. I just want to show you guys what's going on in here. They don't run off magic. You don't have to be scared. Uh, this is just a basic servo. I'm sure there's a few other ones out there that are put together a little bit differently, but the vast majority of them are sort of built like this guy. It's just a Savox 1258. I'm just going to pull it apart so you guys can see what's going on with the gears. Um, and you don't have to be scared or nervous to try to fix these things. It's just like anything else in the hobby. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, flip you around. I brought my little screwdriver. We're going to pop the screws out of this guy and show you what's going on inside an RC servo. It's nothing too scary. Let's check it out. All right, guys. So we got the RC servo right here. Now this is just a standard Savox 1258, like I had mentioned. So this guy's got four screws on the bottom, and she should come apart. So I brought my screwdriver. I'm gonna go ahead, take them out, so you guys can see what's going on inside an RC servo. Because I get asked all the time, and it's really not too big of a deal. They got screws that come up through the case, like so. Hold it all together. Clamp together like a sandwich. And to the power of editing, I have sped through time to take these screws out for you. So, now that the screws are out, it'll come apart. That's just the bottom case there. So check out what's going on there. We have, surprise, surprise, a circuit board. We kind of all saw that one coming. Main leads come in to the circuit board, basically telling the servo motor what to do. And then the top case will just pop off. See how I held my finger on the main gear there so it didn't come off with it? There's your top case. You guys can get a good look at that. Too crazy going on there. So if you just need to change the case, the ears, you're good to go. Slap your new case on and boop, screw it back together and you replace the ears. So there's your case. Now here's the servo itself. There's our gears. You guys get a look there. So these all come out. They're all just sitting on little pins. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the main gear off. I'm gonna take off this little guy first. Main gear should slide off, like that. Now the main gear, which I'm just now calling this the main gear, it's got the bearing on it, a little O-ring, and the bottom side, another bearing, and it's actually keyed in there, which lines up with this keyway right here. And that's what actually turns, oop, made to bump you there. And that's what actually turns the servo. There's your main gear there. And the rest of the gears just kind of sit on pins, Slide them off, like so. All the pins come out. There you have a naked gearless servo. I don't know if you guys can see the little brass gear in there, but that's where the motor is, and this is just a, a pivoting point. So there you go. So all you have to do to replace the gears, put them back on in order, and you're good to go. And there you have it. Once you get all the gears back on, they should spin pretty freely. So this is pretty cool. You can see the gear reduction. Pretty neat there. Just threw the gears back on. Now I've noticed that it helps if you want to take a picture of it right here like this. Then you can have a uh, pretty good illustration of how the gears are supposed to go back on. Because they only go back on in one direction. And you just throw the case back together. Should kind of pop into place. Make sure you didn't leave off any O-rings. And you go ahead, throw the screws back in, and you got a functioning servo just like that. There you go, guys. Just a quick video of what's going on inside 
the little servo, also known as the steering box. Um, <laughs> I'm just cracking some jokes. Um, but they're really not overly complicated and gears will break and you can usually just buy a gear set for 20, 30 bucks at the most and fix a 100, 120, 30 dollar servo instead of just buying a whole new one and throwing a more or less a pretty good servo just sitting in your box doing nothing don't be afraid to take them apart they're fairly simple units like I said snap a picture of the servo as soon as you get the case off and just reference it as you're putting it back together and it's really no big deal but I just wanted to put that out there for you guys uh, let me know uh, anything else you want to see um, and of course more content to come just make sure you subscribe so you get that notification but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the support, and we'll see you in the next one.